This is what they call a speed graphic, which most cameramen use from the 40s to the early 60s. You don't see cameras like this anymore. Or how about the first ever net camera? And it had to have a hinge, and it had to be operated with the camera in the hole here, like a bird cage for protection. And it had to be operated with a line through the ice. And I sat on the gold judge's lap using a telephone line. The tools that helped Ralph Bauer snap some of the most iconic hockey photos you will ever see. Ralph is reliving some of his favorite memories covering the Vancouver Canucks for over 40 years, and every picture has a story. This is his favorite one, a shirtless Pavel Bure. This man here, the doctor, he pointing his finger at me, so I dart in. There's my picture, and I snap it, and then I go to training camp and leave the film for my man to take it to the office to have it uh, develop. And when I get there the next morning, while I'm at camp, it's page one on the sun, and it stopped the presses for more editions and everything else. Ralph worked for the Vancouver Sun newspaper and covered the Canucks from 1955 to 1996. He was snapping photos of the team way back in the Western Hockey League days. I go on a little further down here and I find out I've got the great Gretzky with snaps. Oh, Harold. Yes, and I asked him for, to sign it and Gretzky's the greatest. He would sign it, and every, everybody. And he, he, I didn't notice, he said to Harold. He didn't sign it to me, he signed it to Harold. Some of his first and last photos on the job are on display at the Polygon Gallery in North Vancouver. Ralph retired in 1996, or did he? So I was still shooting Canucks wherever they were, even if it was for my collection. And I also uh, tried to help the North Shore News with pictures of the Hall of Fame. And I, I did Canucks and Lions and people going in the Hall of Fame. The exhibit is open to the public until March 29th, and it's well worth the visit. In North Vancouver, Greg Harper, City News.